Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. This time we're going to talk about the error message you receive when you get this message. The SQL statement could not be executed because it contains ambiguous outer joins. If you're watching this series in the previous screencast, we talked about how to show all the customers, even if they haven't placed an order, we did this by simplifying these tables and modifying this link line to include all the records from customers, even if they don't have an order. And we got a data sheet that looks like this. Woodgrove Bank has two different orders, but these four customers do not have any orders. If you want more fields from more tables in your query, for example, if you wanted to see what products had been ordered, you'd need to include the order details table as well as the products table because that's how these tables are joined. And I'm just going to pull one field down from the products table and try to look at what products have been ordered in addition to all the customers from Missouri and Kansas. And when I hit my data sheet view button, I'm going to get that message. We have ambiguous outer joins. That is a comment about how the SQL is created in SQL view. This cannot be resolved. And the problem is that once you modify a link line between two of the tables to include all the records from customers, even if they don't have an order, you have to continue that in your one-to-many relationships. So you have to modify the orders to order details table. Now let's include all the records from orders, even if they don't have a match in order details, as well as products. So in the relationship between the order details and products table, though, I need to include all the records from the order details table and only those from products where the join fields are equal. So in other words, I'm grabbing all the customers, even if they don't have an order, all the orders, even if they don't have an order detail, and all the order details, even if they're not connected to a product. Now, that's not going to happen because I have referential integrity enforced on these relationships. So I know that I don't have order details for a non-existing product, and I know that I don't have order details for a non-existing order. But nevertheless, once you start this relationship modification between two of the tables, you have to continue throughout the query to give you all of the records, even if they don't have a match in the mini table, in order to resolve that error message. And when I hit the data sheet view button, I now see the four records for Woodgrove Bank because they have two orders and each order has two different products. Again, these four customers didn't have any orders in the first place, but if I want to see them on the query, I've got to ask for all customers, even if they don't have a match in the related table. Thank you.